Good morning class. In the previous lesson we have learned about seed germination that it is a process of seeds developing into new plants. We have also learned about the condition necessary for germination. And we have learned on an we have learned an experiment on germination. We have learned that water is necessary for germination. Now class, today we will be learning two important experiments. That first one is oxygen is required for germination. For this process, take two conical flasks A and B. Spread wet cotton wool in each flask and place some soaked seeds, gram seeds. Next step is hang a test tube containing alkaline pyrogallic acid by means of thread in a flask so hang a test tube containing alkaline pyrogallic acid by means of thread in flask A and in flask B hang a test tube containing water Cover the mouth of the test tube with a cup, both sides. And very important factors provide light and temperature for both the flasks. After a day or two, the seeds in flash B will while germinate okay in this it will germinate while in flash a it does not germinate because in flash a there is presence of alkaline pyrogallic acid which absorbs oxygen and from this experiment it is proved that oxygen is necessary for germination. Next experiment is a very important. It is air, water and temperature required for germination. Or we can also call this experiment as three bean B three bean seed experiment. Take a beaker partially filled with water. Keep a wooden plank plate in the beaker. Take three seeds. So one seed, two and three. Arrange them on the wooden plate in the following ways seed A completely submerged in water seed B partially submerged in water and partly exposed to the air and seed C it is just exposed to the air Keep the apparatus in warm place for few days. After few days, it is observed that seed A does not germinate as it gets water but not sufficient. Seed A, it gets plenty of water but there is absence of sunlight. Seed B, germinates as it gets both oxygen and water and seed C 
does not germinate as it gets only oxygen but no water. So class, let us revise the first experiment that oxygen is required for germination. Take two conical flasks A and B, spread wet cotton wool in each flask and place some soaked seeds on it. Hang a test tube containing alkaline pyrogallic acid in flask A and in flask B. Hang a test tube containing water. Cover both the mouth of the test tube with cork. Provide light and temperature for both the flasks. After day or two, the seeds in flask B germinates. While the flask, while the seeds in flask A do not germinate, as alkaline pyrogallic acid absorbs oxygen, and this experiment proved that oxygen is necessary for germination. In the next experiment, that is, air, water, and temperature required for germination, take a beaker partially filled with water, give a wooden plate in the beaker. Take three seeds. In seed A, you should be completely submerged in water. Seed B, partially submerged and it is exposed to the air. And in seed B, that is seed C, it is exposed to the air but it is not submerged in water. Keep the apparatus in warm place for a few days. After a few days, it is observed that seed A does not germinate as it gets water but not sufficient air. Seed B germinates as it gets both oxygen and air and seed C does not germinate as it gets only oxygen but no water. So this three bean seed experiments proves that air, water and temperature is required for germination. So today's assignment would be describe an experiment with the help of a diagram that oxygen is necessary for germination and number B, air, water and temperature is necessary for germination. Diagram is must and do the labeling as well. Class, this is all we'll be learning for today.